Although best known as a musician, Dr. Brian May, CBE, is recognized this evening for his work on the stereoscopic image. Over the course of his long-held fascination, he has assembled one of the most extensive and historically important collections of stereoscopic images in the world. Very early on when I was a kid, I'm sure I was about 10 years old, um, and I first looked through one of these little viewers out of a Weetabix packet and two very flat and ordinary looking pictures became this magical place where you felt you could walk in and I never got over that. I mean to this day I'm sitting there thinking we are looking at wonderful photography but it's all flat. You know, why do we do that? Why, when, when we have the ability to make pictures which have this extra dimension which is really much more like real life, why doesn't everybody jump on it? And I still don't really understand it. So to me it, it's magic and I don't see any reason not to do stereoscopic photography the whole time. From James Cameron with his avatar uh, to Pixar with their wonderful constructions in stereoscopic space like uh, Toy Story, particularly Toy Story 3 and um, How to Train Your Dragon. The, the list goes on and on. I thought Hugo was an amazing work. I mean amazing, truly wonderful work. So suddenly out of the woodwork have come all these people who really have got to grips with what 3D is and doing it to the absolute pinnacle I think. Um, I got a chance to meet a lot of them because we made a, a, a documentary recently for Sky TV, 3D Sky, Sky 3D, and, um, and I managed to, uh, to meet up with a lot of these people and talk to them about their techniques, which is a real thrill. And to me it links back all the way to the 1850s when 3D was born. It comes back to St. Sir Charles Wheatstone, um, who just had this brilliant idea. He thought, you know, we've got two eyes, we, we have two eyes. Um, and that's why we see in depth, so why wouldn't we reproduce that when we're taking photographs? 2012 Saxby Award goes to the scientist, historian, stereo photographer, author and occasional musician, <laughs> Ryan May. I feel very, um, very honoured, and it, this was completely out of the blue. Thank you so much, RPS. It really means such a lot to me. I've been passionately involved in, um, in photography all my life, really, and it is this strange beast called stereoscopic photography which caught my imagination and has really never stopped biting me all these years. I was very, very chuffed, I have to say. It was something that came out of the blue. I would never have expected something like this. And uh, it's very nice to have a little bit of... Um, well, a large bit of recognition from the real professionals in this field. Uh, I've been passionate about photography for as long as I can remember, but really as an amateur. And um, it was only in the last, I suppose, 10 years that I started writing the books because you realize you've been accumulating all this research and if you die, it dies with you. So, um, but I never expected this and it's great. And, and to, to be in the company of such amazing artists and technicians, you know, as, as the guy said, you know, photography embraces so many different kinds of cultures and techniques and uh, artistic and scientific things come together. It's, it's, a, it's a wonderful thing to be a part of.